Hello, we are Team Six. My name is Gary Preston Garola, and accompanying me are Michael Suarez and Kevin Noah. And for our project two, we made a speed reduction gearbox. For designing the gearbox, we must follow several parameters. The first of is that we must have a horsepower of 4.5. The input must be 1500 RPM, and the output must be 100 RPM. It must be able to tolerate medium to low precision applications. The, humid the humidity levels that it must be able to withstand is 90 to 95 percent. The operational temperatures that it must be able to withstand are room temperature to positive or minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The shafts must be perpendicular from one another, but be able to rotate in the same direction. And the production cost must be low, while the efficiency of the product must be high. The target applications that we'll be seeing our product be in include the industrial business area, which we'll see in conveyor belts, which we'll find in packaging, printing, and in machining businesses. An overview of our research showed that while we're looking at journals and other forms of information, a gearbox is supposed to be a system that's able to change, increase or decrease the RPM of a system or increase or decrease the torque of a system depending on how you manufacture and design and combine the gear systems. Several gear system types of gears that we'll be seeing in our design include bevel, spur, helical, and worm. So for our conceptual design, we had three options to choose from. We had worm gear for a single stage. We saw that this wasn't a good option since when we referenced the Boston gear catalog, we found that there weren't any worm gears that would satisfy the load that needed to be transmitted as well as the RPM reduction that we needed. The second option was the bevel helical gears. And the third option, which was the option that we chose, was the bevel and spur straight gear set. So this is our final uh, gear box design. In, our, in the right hand picture, the spurs that we used were three spurs, 12 teeth, 36 teeth, and 60 tooth. And for the set of bevel gears, we used a 15 teeth and 45 tooth. This satisfied the ratio that we needed, which was a 15 to one ratio, 1500 RPM input and 100 RPM output. For the cost analysis, all the bevel gear, spur gear sets, casting, bearings, and shafts were analyzed and came out to a total of $1,056.32. For the analysis of all the spur gears and bevel gears, the contact and bending stress of the gears can be found with these equations as the respective factor safeties as well. This is the AGMA uh, strength and stress analysis that was performed on all the gears for our gearbox. These are the respective results from the AGMA stress, stress and strength analysis. For the first set, it was a 1500 RPM input and 500 RPM output, and the respective factor of safeties were 3.75 and 5.63 for the gear and pinion. And for the second set, it was a 500 RPM input and 300 RPM output. The respective factor of safeties were 2.22 and 3.36, 3.39. The factor of safety does decrease one from one stage to another stage. This is common within gearboxes. And this is the final results for the bevel gears that were selected. The input RPM is 300 and the output RPM is 100. And the respective factor of safeties are 1.42 and 1.72 for the gear and pinion, as well as the contact factor of safeties, which is 1.45 and 1.67. And for the structural design, here we can see the first pinion spur gear with 12 teeth made from grade one steel. Here we can also see the second spur gear with 36 teeth also made from grade one steel. Shown in the picture is the third spur gear with 60 teeth also made from grade one steel. A pair of bevel pinions, bevel gears. The fourth uh, pinion bevel gear has 15 teeth made from grade two steel and likewise the bevel gear has 45 teeth and made from uh, grade two steel. Here we can see the entire powertrain encased in the casing. Here are the engineering drawings for the two isometric views and the left and right. Shown is a small animation of the entire design. In regards to the maintenance, the oil needs to be serviced every 2,000 hours for our gearbox. The oil that's going to be used is conventional 75 weight to 95 weight gear oil. The sustainability of our gearbox is as follows. 
The oil can be burned later on in devices such as lanterns or other combustible equipment. This uh, allows for the entirety of the oil to be used instead of in storing it and having it harmful to the environment. In conclusion, we were able to design all of the objectives and met them effectively, as well as enhanced our knowledge on gearbox designs and how they properly function, as well as learn how to properly use the gear catalogs in selecting our gears, which was the Boston gear catalog, as well as the Timken, Timken catalog. And we also experienced a lot of teamwork and management. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch our presentation.